moderation of Wi-Fi standards. With Wi-Fi 6 routers coming down in price, are there any good options for less than £100? Let's find out. So to answer that question, I bought two of the cheapest Wi-Fi 6 routers I could find. The Honor 3 for £50 and the Linksys MR7350 for £85. For good measure, I'm going to compare it against my existing Google Nest router as well. If you're new to this channel, we help you make informed decisions on the latest tech. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe and the like button. And leave any questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer all of them. Now let's get on with the review. So first off, it's important to remember that all Wi-Fi 5 devices will be compatible with Wi-Fi 6. All the Wi-Fi standards are cross-compatible. So if you have older devices and the newer devices, if you have a Wi-Fi 6 router, it should work with all of them. So first off, let's have a close look at the Honor 3 and what its standout features are. Well, first off, it's by the cheapest by far at £50. You can't really beat that price at the moment for a Wi-Fi 6 router. It has a really nice design with four antennas and all white. It's dual band at 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. It has a separate WPS button in the centre of the unit. It has a single indicator light, which is a really nice design feature. WPA security it has the AI companion app. It allows for guest Wi-Fi access. It's a mesh Wi-Fi router, so you can add additional routers to increase the range in your home. It has a dual-core processor, it's really easy to set up. And on the back of the unit, you get three gigabit Ethernet ports, internet port, but there's no power switch. There is a reset switch, but you have to press that with a pin to get access. So let's have a closer look at the Linksys offering. What are its standout features? Well, it says on the box it's 1,500 feet of range. It's dual band at 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. It's mesh as well, so it can be used with other items in the Linksys range called VLOP nodes. It has a USB 3.0 port, which is a really nice feature. It allows you to add additional storage onto the network, network attack storage, so you can share some files. It's a two antenna design, which looks a bit dated, but it is starting to grow on me the longer it's there. Really steady construction, rubber feet, and it is wall mountable as well, so you can position this where you like. On the back of the unit, you get four gigabit Ethernet ports, internet port, a USB 3.0 port, a reset switch and a power switch. So both these units offer a companion app. The Huawei app is okay. It's a bit basic but has some good functions including guest Wi-Fi. Linksys app is my favourite. It's comprehensive, allows with lots of different functions, good for novices and experts alike. Within the app you can control the USB ports and you can prioritise devices where required as well which is a really nice feature. So in terms of coverage I've done a few tests across a week on both of these routers. You can pause this video here if you want to have a look in more detail. But if we go down into the download data and extract that and put that into graphs, you can have a look at the range that these routers offer. Important to bear in mind that all houses are different and these are just my typical speeds in my house. For the test, I haven't prioritized any devices in the settings. So this is a typical semi-detached house with three bedrooms, 200 megabit connection on Virgin, tested throughout the week and is the average across the week. The blue bar is the same room as the router. The red bar is when I'm in a room directly above the router, one ceiling away. The orange bar is the router, which is one room away on the same floor. And the green bar is the furthest indoor distance at around nine meters, which is one ceiling and two walls away from the router. I left the Google router results in here for comparison. You can see the Honor is consistent and dips off with both Wi-Fi 5 and 6 devices the further you get away from the router. The Linksys prioritizes Wi-Fi 6 devices and has a consistent signal which is a better range. In summary then, the Honor looks really good but unfortunately it doesn't perform in terms of range and signal strength. The Linksys is a bit of a boring design but it is growing on me, it's a better app and the range is really good for the price. Which one would I buy? Well the Linksys all day long, it's just a better quality product, better value, better app and that range really can't be argued with for the price. Thank you for watching. If you found this review useful, please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you again soon for another review.